50 years ago, a momentous event in our country's democratic history took place. In a landslide vote, Australians of all political beliefs voted yes to recognise Aboriginal Australians in the population and to set in motion positive reforms. Since Federation, the lives of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people were controlled by the states. From the right to vote and whom they could marry, to whether they could own property or parent their children. These issues of Aboriginal inequality would rise to the forefront of domestic affairs. From the Aboriginal Progressive Association to the Pilbara strike, campaigners sought to put an end to the disparity and start a new chapter in Australian history. This culminated in a petition launched in 1957, which would pave the way for a referendum on Aboriginal Australians. The next decade showed the strength of our democracy in action, where Australians, black and white, tirelessly worked together to table the petition. They successfully bridged the political divide with bipartisan support from all parties in both houses of parliament in a nation where constitutional change is often voted down. The petition tabled changes that would count Aboriginal people in the official population and allow the federal government to pass laws in their favour On the 27th of May, 1967, over 90% of voters wrote yes. It was a symbolic high point, an admission of injustice, and the first stride towards equality. The referendum was only just the beginning. The years following saw more steps to address the injustices, disparities and visibility of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders. It hasn't been easy. The steps were often and still are met with opposition and reluctance. And many hopes set by the referendum still wait to be met. On its 50th anniversary, what does the 1967 referendum mean for our country and history? It stands as a testament to the tireless work of those who have made it happen and the generations of activists, politicians and citizens who they've inspired. It's a lens through which we should critique our journey since and challenge ourselves to work harder than ever before. It's a reminder that, with the interests of all Australians at heart, that our nation unites and has the power to do it again. <laughs>